Hello everyone and welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my process for planning all of my sewing makes throughout the year. for joining me. I'm Amy Nicole and this is my studio and today I am going to be giving you the inside scoop on a process that is very special to my heart. This is my favorite time of year where I have some very intentional me time in the studio and plan out my makes for the year, reflect on what I've made in the previous year, and just really spend some quiet time brainstorming and dreaming up things I want to make for myself and of patterns that I want to release for Amy Nicole Studio. So I used to use things like a bullet journal and a design journal, which I will share some of my blog posts that I've done about this subject in the past in the comments below. But now that I have this beautiful new space and this giant bulletin board here behind me, I really love being able to visually have all of everything that's inspiring me out in the studio as I'm working throughout the year. And it's really fun after I complete a make to move it up to the completed makes area and sort of browse my ideas and see what I wanna make next. And that can change based on the weather, how I'm feeling, what's exciting me right now. This planning process is a little bit more flexible than what I used to do. I used to plan out my entire makes for four to six months at a time. Sometimes I would even cut everything out ahead of time and make it as I got to it, but that kind of left me stuck with what I had originally planned and unable to be creative in the moment with anything that was exciting me at the time. So my current process I really love. It's much more flexible, it's much more fluid, and really encourages me to be more sporadic with my sewing makes. So this is the inspo board. Word. As you can see, it is kind of, it does have its little sections and I will do a zoomed in video of this area as well. So the main area is this section right here and this is where I sketch out anything that I want to make, things that are exciting me. If I know what fabric I want to make it in, I already have that fabric, I will go ahead and render it with that fabric in mind. And if I don't, I'll leave it blank. Sometimes I'll put a little swatch next to it and I usually write what the pattern is and if there's any edits I plan on making to it as well. And this section of the board fluctuates throughout the year. Typically I'll add to it. At this time of year when I'm having my really intentional sit down, I I will look over all of these and pull anything that's not really exciting me anymore. That keeps the board fresh with only things that are really piquing my interest at the moment. And then the fun part is as I make something from the inspo section, I will move it up here to the makes section. So this is roughly, there's still some things that I need to sketch that I sort of made on a whim that I don't have sketches for, but this is roughly everything that I made in 2023 up here. Now, as I said, it doesn't include everything. I don't limit myself to only what's on the board. If I get a spark of inspiration, I will just make it. And then I do like to retroactively go back and sketch something new, sketch what I made and move it up to the makes area. So it's really fun to watch this section grow throughout the year and see everything that I've made, especially in those times where I feel like I haven't gotten to spend a lot of time in the studio. I can look up here and see everything that I've accomplished throughout the year. This section right here, you're getting a little sneak peek of some behind the scenes planning with Amy Nicole patterns. I sketch out upcoming patterns here, things that I'm thinking about turning into patterns next. Those are just plain sketches. You can see I have the Colleen cape dress up here still from last year. This needs to be updated, obviously. And then here I have a checklist of everything that I'm working on currently. So the bottom section is 
personal and the top section is business. And I do a lot of alterations here in the studio for local clients. So that's everything that goes up here. And then down here, I track everything that I'm making for myself, every things that are on deck, etc. So, and this is, I printed out on dry erase paper and I do actually have a freebie principle of this for all of my newsletter subscribers. So be sure to subscribe to my newsletter below and you will find this printable in the stitchers vault if you would like to use it in your own studio. I just had it laminated and I used a dry erase marker to keep track of everything as I go. So that is my planning bulletin board. A little bit more about what hap what is going to happen today in the studio. I have my table here laid out with all of my supplies. I have Pinterest pulled up. I have my Trello boards with all of my fabrics and patterns pulled up. I also have a blog post about how I organized all of that into Trello. I will link that below. I have my markers, my pencils, my paper, and I will just sit. I will look through the inspiration that I've gathered throughout the year. I will look at the fabrics that I have. I will look through my pattern stash. I don't necessarily only sew from my stash or from patterns I already have, although I do try to. And I will just sketch out new things to add to my inspiration board here. Now it's already pretty crowded. So I will probably, before I begin that process, look on here and take away anything that is not front of mind at the moment. I'll probably keep it and like tape it into my little book. I do have the design journal as well. And what I will do here is I will pull all of my sketches from the top that I made this year and put them on their own page so that I can look back through the journal and see everything that I made. So this is all of my makes from 2022, 2021. This was before I started really coloring them in. I like to just go back and see what I made throughout the years. If you do take the time to have a little planning sesh, I recommend making yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee, putting on some relaxing music, lighting a candle, Set the mood to really spend some time in your studio with your ideas and let them bloom. Be very intentional about it. Make sure you have plenty of time to get all of those thoughts out and on to paper. Again, I have done several posts about how I plan my sewing. Some systems I'm still using, some I've moved on to new things, but I will link all of those in the comments below so that you can get some ideas if you're looking for new ways to plan your sewing projects. And this bulletin board I got, I believe, at a container store and it was not white. I painted it white because I wanted everything in the studio to be white, like a blank canvas. And then I gave it a fun, I had to give it a fun yellow trim. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I would love to know what you think about my big planning sewing bulletin board in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Happy sewing everyone. Bye. Bleh. Um, Oh, it's about to pour down rain. I rec rec